New Shorbet Submarines. Alright, the new Shorbet update. So, we have the military submarine, which costs 25,000, as well as the dock marine, which costs 3,000. And also, Great Hammerhead is 50% off. First, I'm gonna buy the Duck Marine. Okay, so we have the Duck Marine. I'm actually very excited to test this. Yo, this looks cool. Wait, so Q and E controls, just like in Shore Bite 1. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, so you can like actually explore the ground now. So the top speed is 95, which is slightly faster than the normal one. Again. And so we have this bar as well as the circle. So with the E and Q controls, you actually control the bar. And then the red circle is basically where your boat is right now. So for example, if I go under this thing, I'm going to be controlling the bar and I want this boat to go to the surface. But I physically just can't because of this bridge. But if I move, it will automatically try to go to the surface. So I do like the system. The horn is just the normal duck horn. Oh no. <laughs> this is so cool though. Yo, that's the military submarine. Okay, let's kill it. I really like this small submarine. So the cool thing with the submarines in this game is that they don't lose speed underwater when diving. I think it's time. I think it's time to buy the military submarine. Okay, I'm doing it. I just did it. Oh my god, okay. I'm very excited to test this one as well. Okay, so this is the military submarine. It looks awesome. So we have the same E and Q controls. Let's dive. Yo, look at this. So it has two like guns, like turrets. And each one of them does 50 damage apparently. Oh nice, a duck submarine as well. Okay, I want to explore the military submarine. Okay, so we have two world maps. We have barrels and crates and stuff like that in the small room. And the coolest part is this right here. So this is like a hidden window. And you can sit here and like shoot the shark. Okay, I'm back in a new round. I always wanted a military submarine in shark bite. And it finally happened. Okay, it's a hammerhead, so I don't think 125 is enough to outrun a hammerhead. So if you're the shark and the submarine is underwater, every 6 seconds you get a ping, like a yellow circle ping, with the submarine icon, so you know where the submarine is. So on water, it's also 125. I actually wanna go find the shark. And so yeah, it can actually fit through the pipe, as you can see, with no problem at all. That was cool. Oh, here's the shark. It's right there. There's a thousand HP left. And there's no way I can actually kill it. But let's see what happens. It's definitely one not expect a military submarine. The horn is so cool as well. Okay. Okay, I hit it. So it does 50 per shot. And there's two of them. But it's, again, very hard to aim. As you can see, it's just like you have to predict where the shark will go. Like, for example, how the heck did I hit that? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think you have to shoot a bit, like, ahead of the shark. I mean, I shot it and it didn't, like, count for some reason. I think that's a bug and they'll fix it, but for now, that's how it is. As you can see, the shark managed to destroy the submarine quite quickly and then just ate me. So, it is pretty cool, but that was a hammerhead, keep that in mind. So, against the Great White, you have way better odds of surviving underwater. It's actually very fun to drive around and see all of the corals and like other seagrass, kelp, and yeah. Okay, so you see that yellow circle from the buoy, uh, that's the shark. And so for the shark, it can actually see where I am. I reached 140 there, but yeah, this thing is actually pretty huge, and I love that. I really love how it looks, and so, okay, this is my time to shine. Come on, come on. Okay, I hit it once, it did 50, another time. So if you shoot, if you hit both of those shots with the both turrets, you'll do 100 every, like, 3 seconds, I think. Okay, watch this. Boom! Underwater! Yeah! 
Yeah, so again, this thing is 25k. The good thing is, is that the Duck Marine is actually only 3000. So a lot of people can actually get the chance to try out the submarine. And I will say, the Duck Submarine, or like the Duck Marine, it's all is also very nice. It's very small and it has a very nice handling. Here's the size comparison. Okay, I'll let this guy join my boat. Wait, what? Where did he... Oh. Okay, then. So, this is like a very, very cool military submarine. I'll probably make a follow-up video on this submarine once I get to use it quite a bit. And then I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. I do not regret spending my teeth on it. And so, yeah, as you can see, I have like actually quite a lot of teeth because I was grinding the whole week. Like 15 to 25k a day. So, yeah, because I want to get everything that I'm missing and to review it for you guys. As well as everything in the board builder. So, that also includes the golden toilet. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the jet ski went through me. That was cool. Yeah, so expect the comparison between all of the weapons. Including the boat weapons as well. All of them. Let's dive. And let's go up. Because, why not? I think this is more like a passive boat. Because you cannot really go aggressive with it. Because the shark will just destroy you. And you're basically stuck using these two turrets. Oh no. Okay, I'll place mine. Or I won't. Okay, I need to like damage the shark slightly. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. So now there are actually three dog boats in the game. But I kind of like that actually. Each one has its like own uniqueness to it. Yeah, so the handling actually feels super nice, and so does diving. I mean, like, look at this. Let me actually, like, go next to the ship and take a picture, because that's cool. I'm exploring this abandoned pirate ship. I don't think the 95 speed is a big problem. I mean, yeah, it is slow, but it's only 3k. And also, you can do this. Look at this. It went to 120. This system is just way cleaner and cooler, actually. So yeah. Oh yeah, wait, you can place mine. And it, like, camp near it. Underwater. Oh my god, that's so cool. Let's do that, actually. So the shark will know where I am. But it'll definitely not expect three mines. Alright, so now it's just a waiting game. I'll also shoot a flare gun. Why not? Okay, this does indeed seem powerful. Unless it comes from back, then it's not powerful at all. <laughs> okay, here is the shark. It's right here. Okay, please hit all three. No! Okay, but this definitely can work. Okay, so I need to damage it ever so slightly and make... Oh no! Okay, that's so sad. But in theory, that can actually work if the shark is low on HP. Okay, hopefully there is a submarine so I can show you like the yellow circle thing. The ping, basically. And yep, there it is, right there. So now I know there there is a submarine th right there. Oh, it actually happens on the surface as well. Okay, I'll let them survive for a bit. But not this jet ski. Jet ski is not new. Yeah. I'm actually going to just chase them. Let's see how easily I can get them with the Mako without boost. Yeah, so I'd say quite easily. And the durability isn't the best either. But again, it's a very cool and fun submarine. Oh, there's another one right there. So yeah, I guess submarines are actually very big targets. And both of them aren't like super, super fast. But I still think it's quite balanced. So yeah, we have another one right here. This is so epic. I always wanted submarines in Shark Bite 2. You can actually walk inside it. The same way you would in the stealth boat in Shark Bite 1. This is also basically infinite oxygen as you can see. So yeah, I will say that's very cool as well. Besides the submarines, in this update they have made optimization updates. And also reset the leaderboards. Okay look, I'm number one on the leaderboard. And I also want to react to the submarine trailer. 
This is uploaded by Simon, as always. Spoiler alert, I'm actually in this video, so yeah. Let's give it a watch. Look at this, that's me! And that's also me. And then we have this window, I love this window so much. The inside. And then boom. And now the duck submarines as well. Look at these! They are so cool. Alright, so that's it for this video. This is actually a very, very big update. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.